That description is horrible. Completely ludicrous. I like saying ludicrous. I don't know why. I just like saying it. Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. Writing a good video description is pivotal for you to be able to pick up more views, uh, get more subscribers, and being found in search. So I'm going to help you write good video descriptions that you can utilize to help your videos and help your channel grow. No matter all or no. The first thing I do with my video descriptions is I make sure that I include my title and the tags that I use in my video. When I include those things, it creates relevancy. So what I mean by that is it tells Google, hey, these things are in his title and his tags and it's in his description. So when people search for those tags or that title, it helps me rank better in search. So it'll help me show up on even on the side where it's showing those relevant videos by utilizing the video title and the tags as part of my description. Now, you need to be writing words and sentences. Don't just throw your tags in there. Make a complete description that tells people about the video using your title and using your tags. If you have a problem writing sentences and using the tags and the title of your video in that description, you probably want to change your tags and your video title. Numero dos. The second thing that I do with my video descriptions is I make sure that my video descriptions are 100 to 400 words long. Not characters, words. What that means is that you need to create a robust description about the video. It doesn't matter if you're typing everything that you're saying or everything that you're doing in the video. Just make sure that you are typing out a robust description. Now the reason why that's important is because it also helps you with Google search and YouTube search really. Basically what it does is words are used within Google and YouTube to tell you what a video is about. Not just tags, not just the title, but also the description. Because the best thing it can use is words. It can't use the content of the video per se to help it pull your video forward and search. So when you write a robust description in your video description, it gives Google the information it needs to know, hey, this is relevant to this search and that search. And you got the tags and the titles in here. Hmm. This is really relevant to this topic and it's robust. I can tell that this is really what people are searching for. So I'm going to pull it up and search. So you need to use 100 to 400 words. What this also helps you with is if you're going to do like a, a blog or something with it later, then usually you can just copy and paste the information from your video description into that blog and use that as a blog that links to the video, helping you get more views. Numero tres. The third thing that I like to do is I look for other videos with the same or similar content as mine and see what they're using in their descriptions. And if there's anything in there that I like, any wording, phrasing, uh, even tags that I might see in the word, you say, hey, I never thought about using that as a tag. Then I take those things and I borrow them, uh, make them my own in my own video description. And if I need to add anything to tags, then I can add things to tags. This also helps me be more robust and have more of a wide range of types of flow to my video description rather than just the flow that I use or the words that I use. I could beg, borrow, and steal Rob Peter to pay Paul and gather more information to help make my uh, video description more robust. All right, guys, it's a wrap. I want to thank you so much for watching the video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got any questions, you want to leave comments, you got a tutorial request, leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to get YouTube goodness like this every Saturday, then you got to smash the subscribe button. Because when you smash the subscribe button, you'll get notifications from YouTube every time I upload content. And that way, you'll know to tune in and watch, learn, and laugh. 
Have some fun, all right? For once, for the tutorial. Have some fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.